The first and foremost question is what is line chart? Line chart is a chart that is created by connecting a series of data points together with a line segment. This is a simple meaning of line chart. Okay, then the second question is why people use line chart? Line charts are used to show the trend or evolution. Trend in sense the general direction in which something is developing or changing. We people use trend analysis. Trend analysis is the use of past performances to predict the future price moments of stock or a security. And evolution in sense, we human beings evolved from Homo habilis to Homo erectus and from Homo erectus to Neanderthal man and from Neanderthal man to Homo sapiens finally, right? Likewise, the data and information also changes over the period of time. And in order to visually represent the data changes over short or long periods, we use line chat. Let's understand this with an example. Let's imagine that there is a company called Guru's Cute Crochets and they sell crochet items online. And this data shows the company's net profits for the past five years. Come, let us put a line chart for this. Let's devote some time to look into the chart deeper. Why the years are taken along x-axis? That is because in line chart, we always take categories in x-axis and the values for the category in y-axis. That's why we have taken the year that is the category in the x-axis and their respective value that is net profits in the y-axis. You people may think, why can't we use bar chart here? What's the reason? What's the difference? Yes, we can use, but the general rule is bar charts are used when the changes in the data points are larger and when smaller changes exist, line graphs are better than the bar graphs. And finally, the elements of line charts. There are three basic elements that are horizontal axis or x-axis, the vertical axis or y-axis and the title. The title always denotes what the chart is about. The horizontal axis always hold categories like dates, months, years, or the stages of projects as well. And in y-axis, we take values of the 